What's up everybody, this is Sonny El Tapu, and I wanna show you how to create a super quick AI-based resume analyzer tool using the Power Platform. So today, I'm using Power Apps, Power Automate, and AI prompts within the Power Platform for this, sol for this solution. So I'm gonna go ahead and run through this really quickly with you. So first, I'm gonna go to AI prompts within the Power Automate portal and I'm gonna hit build your own prompt and here's where we're gonna get started. I'm gonna say demo video resume scanner tool and here I'm gonna add two inputs, okay? The first input is job recs, which are job requirements. <clears throat> and then the second one is job app, which is the application from the individual and I'm going to actually drop in some sample data. This is just something for a data analyst role. And this is an individual's submission for a job application uh, from John Doe. And the prompt, I've already pre-written the prompt. Uh, this didn't take me very long, but you know, it all depends on um, what you want for your solution and how you want it to be tweaked. So here I just said screen the incoming resume against the job description and only if the candidate does not meet the requirements, um, draft an email response. If they do, uh, on a scale of one to 10, give me a rating and a quick comment on how well the candidate matches. This was very, very basic. Uh, this prompt was something I built very, very quickly. So make sure you guys really tweak the prompt uh, to get the responses you want but I can just add an input in my prompt, job recs, whoops, not there. Let's see the job recs, job app. And let me just do a quick test here. And here you go. So we get out a full response in HTML. I used HTML because I was actually um, uh, sending emails out earlier with this AI uh, resume scanning tool, but we can talk about that later. I'm gonna hit save, and this looks pretty good to go. Next step is to go into the Power App Studio. I created a new blank Canvas app, and what I wanna do is I wanna insert a couple of text inputs. One for the job requirements, and then let's actually change this to multi-line here. Okay. And then one for job apps. So that would be the application. And let's change that to input job rex just to make sure we have some proper naming there. And then I'm also gonna add an HTML control uh, to display whatever the output is. This could be a label too, uh, it really doesn't matter, but since it's an HTML, this automatically converts. And I'm gonna add a button. And this button will serve as the catalyst to get our resume scanned. Scan resume. And here is where it gets fun. So I'm gonna go, first of all, I'm gonna hit save. Say, uh, demo video resume scanning app. Gonna hit save. And I'm gonna publish this basic version just to have it all down. And I wanna go here to Power Automate. And I wanna create a flow that will kick off the AI prompt. Okay, so I'm gonna hit create flow and I'm gonna say create from blank. And first I wanna grab the inputs, right? So input would be input job app. And another one would be the input job requirements. Okay, and then I'm at a new step. And let's click AI builder. And the action we want is the create text with GPT using a prompt. And the prompt would be down here, demo video resume scanner tool. And then I'm gonna add another step 
for Power Apps, which would be to grab the output and send it to Power Apps. So let's go find Power Apps, respond to a Power App or Flow, and this makes sure that you can get an output when you invoke this flow from within the Power App. So I'm gonna say output scanned resume. Okay, now I'm going to rename the flow. Let's say demo video power resume scanner flow. Let's hit save. And right when I do that, I get some errors because once we selected the prompt, we now have to see what we're passing through to the inputs. We're grabbing the Power App input and we're sending it through to the AI builder, or excuse me, the AI prompt, input job app, and that's input job rex. We've defined that here. So let's hit save. And oh, the value here is the value you get from the AI prompt here, which would be the text from the response. And it's all dynamic. As you can see, I just clicked it shows up. So we're going to give it a second for it to load. And there you go. So it's loaded up in our Power App. And then let's go to the button and start trying to invoke the Power Automate flow. So let's, what I want to do is I want to store the response in a variable. Okay, so I'm going to say set var output. And I want to invoke the flow. So I'm going to say demo video scanner flow dot run. And it's, you're gonna have two inputs. Remember, we have the input job app. So that would be our input job app dot text. And this is what that input field is called. Excuse me. Um, and then the next one is input job rex dot text. Okay, looks good. And if I hit dot, I can grab any outputs that AI build what well, we've defined in this power automate flow and that's it so I'm gonna hit this one and this is our output so what I want to do is I just want to set this to var output we just defined this here and set it as that as the HTML text value I'm gonna hit save and I'm gonna grab some dummy responses or excuse me, some dummy uh, data. So let's hit play and check this out. Let's see if it works. So the job requirements here, we have our job requirement for a data analyst position. And then we have our job application for this individual named John Doe. Let's see what this comes out with. Boom. So we get a response from AI Builder using that Power Automate flow. Uh, this is the person. Uh, this is their information. This is a recommendation. Um, and here's a summary. John meets all the qualifications. His skills align well. Um, and there's an additional comment. We asked it to give him a rating, right? Nine out of 10. And so it says, John has solid experience, uh, making him highly trainable and so on and so forth. So this is, uh, this is the entire solution. And this is very, very basic, right? So I created this in like less than 15 minutes. Uh, realistically, I'd set up the Power Automate flow to, you know, allow you to drop in a bunch of resumes into like a OneDrive folder or a SharePoint folder. And then a Power Automate flow would be hooked up to that SharePoint or OneDrive folder and automatically scan every resume that comes through and load it up into like a Dataverse system. So what you could do is every time uh, it scans a resume, you could set it so that it stores it in a Dataverse table. And then you could have folks going through maybe like a model driven app through all of those resumes um, and seeing the uh, the actual position and then the uh, the applicants information as well as the output from the AI. And that'll allow folks to go through a process to analyze, you know, who's the best applicant here and give you the AI capability that lets you see, um, you know, how they match up. You could also set it to automatically uh, throw out resumes that give it a rating on that it gives a rating of under five or four so that's pretty much it um let me know if you guys have any suggestions um in the comments below uh that would be awesome and if you guys have any questions same place drop them in the comments thank you guys